Hello friends, welcome to Technoi channel. Today we will discuss about render function and how we can create our own directive using Vue.js framework. So for example, if you can see the paragraph over the tag over here, right, we can create our own uh, tag so for specific purposes. So I am using a Visual Studio code and this is my Chrome browser and the inspector here. Okay. So let me uh, start with creating a small component, right? So in my previous tutorial, I already discussed what is component about and how we can create it. So just now let me create one more. So this component we can give some name so we can use prefix tn let's say i give an example okay and here we can pass a set of object so i created a, a detailed tutorial on component you can go and watch so for more information this is just to continue on top of that but if you're following the you should be good i won't cover any major concept so hello world so this is the component okay so wherever i printed this uh, tnex the take so this hello world will be printed for example let me use over here tn example so this is the take let me reload the space over here so there is some error probably component is not a function okay i think i did this typo error over here Okay, so the hello world will be printed. But let's say if I try to put some information, hello uh, America. So if I just try to save it and I want to mention this hello world America, nothing is printed. So whatever the content we are providing inside our tag, it is ignoring. So if you like to print that information over here also, in sheet of world, right, we can create slot. So the slots are kind of placeholder. So whatever the component we uh, type over here will be go and replace in the slot element. So let me reload it. Yeah, see, hello America. So this is the way to create a simple uh, template. But if you see over here, we have to create H1. So this H1 will be replaced. So if you see here, this is the tag is replaced H1 hello america so this is a very basic today i'll explain about a little bit a uh, uh, little bit advanced or intermediate uh, knowledge so if i want to pass some parameter over here right and based upon this i want to change this hello america from uh, for example h1 h2 i want to change the heading level so, but if you want to create multiple heading, right, I have to create T, T and hyphen EX 1, 2, 3, 4 and similarly I have to define uh, so many component to achieve this functionality. So, because this is we have to specify somewhere, but I would like to change this 1, 2, 3 as a dynamic, how to do that. So, that also I can do. So, in this component only we can achieve that, okay. So, it is a little bit complex. But uh, once you understand, maybe if you want to design some reusable component, it will be very helpful. Okay. So for first thing, let me create a properties, props, that is the property. Okay. And uh, uh, header, header, header number or something, anything you can give, you can use some better naming convention type this uh, I define that uh, property name uh, of this particular component uh, this is a number type and required true or false you can make anything you can put it some default but for the time being I put as a, a true uh, header number is equal to so using colon symbol we can specify the property i just give one so nothing will happen just let me reload it oh uh, missing the required element okay 
moved. Okay, I have used here. I think there is some spelling mistake I have probably did. Okay, now it is gone. I just changed it to label. So, it does not matter ideally, but I think uh, uh, we can see something header or something we can give. Okay, let me reload. Okay, now also fine. Maybe the if I use a camel case, it is not taking. Okay, I think uh, uh, you don't use two words separated by a camel case. Use a simple, you know, small letter. But anyway, this is our variable. Uh, so in the variable we can assign one, two, or something value. So this hello America will coming. But I, I don't want to use a template. I, uh, I would like to use a function known as the render. Okay, render function. Inside this we can pass a create element. Okay, this is the only one. I, I'll explain in the the tutorial about what are the parameter we have, what are the optional required and different kind of parameter will pass. For example, uh, this is a, a DOM object. Uh, uh, inside this, this function, we can create any HTML element, division, paragraph, and or so on and so on. So, uh, we'll create. So, we have to return it. Create element. This is a function. Okay. Uh, in the function, we have to specify the tag. So let's say it's H1 tank, uh, save it and uh, okay, America. See, this America is uh, printed. Uh, Uncore, unexpected, initialization. So, with the along with that H1, uh, to, uh, you remember here we have used slot to accommodate this America. I think this printed, but it is not very accurate. Let's see. How it is coming tnex okay so it doesn't uh, replace it with any h1 tag so it just uh, saw on tnex and given some error because there are one more mandatory field we have missed here okay so uh, so that's why america is displayed in this manner so we have to pass the slot okay this is the element tag and we have to uh, pass the slot in a programmatically manner so that this America will be substituted in that place. So for doing that, this is a little bit complex. So we have to give these dot dollar slots dot default. So these slots will point to this H1 element slot variable, and we can create some other variable we have. So for the timing, we can use the default. So we can substitute this America will be placed inside this H1 tag. Okay, so um, let me save it. Yes, load it. I think still there is some error. Okay, I think I need to a comma, Maria. Yeah. Okay, now it's good. got it. So if you can see, this seems very simple. We have written so many lines of code. You see why we are making it unnecessarily complicated. But this gives us immense power. Till now we have not used this header one. See for example, instead of directly one, we can still use plus, we can access this variable, this dot header, right? And let me reload it. Okay, America. So instead of one, we can still use five and save it. So, so this is small heading. So here the heading tag is changed to H5. So we can create a. So this is the manner we can define as many as number of properties, and we can create some complex element. You know, complex uh, HTML tag. So this is usually not recommended for your simple 
uh, simple reusable component you can still use this h1 slot but if you would like to make it more reusable more dynamic so this can you can do okay so just a quick recap so this is a directive or html tag we can cre create tn is this may prefix hyphen ex for example and we uh, specify some value over here using the slit slot we can replace inside our html uh, template but this is h1 or this kind of tag we can create using programmatically using the render function which which is a little bit complex but which gives immense power for us to we can dynamically uh, read from this properties variable one two three four and this header h1 h2 s5 will be changed automatically and also we can create some complex you know reusable component on that so thanks very much for watching have a nice day ahead bye bye